when, you, when the couple decides to have PGD performed on their embryos, they can either have it performed on day three of growth, which would be at the eight cell stage, where one blastomere would be biopsied in a, in a surgical technique that's done in the lab, and you would get the DNA from that one blastomere and perform the PGD on that genetic material. You can also decide to have PGD performed on day five, which is five days of growth, and that would be at the blastocyst stage. Therefore, a PGD technique at that time would biopsy multiple cells. You actually get much better information from the day five PGD than you do with the day three PGD. Uh, initially, a lot of couples were reluctant to do the day five because it requires that you freeze the embryos because you won't have the information back in time and you then have to transfer the embryos in a later treatment cycle. So it takes a lot longer, it's a bit more expensive, but most studies recently have shown that it's really worth it. You end up getting a much higher success rate by going day five versus day three PGD, and you also um, improve the, the uh, interpretation. You, you have a less false readings on the PGD. Mm -hmm.